Hi guys, Boris Bursak here, and Derek Manyhands, and today we're checking out Dr. Masaru Umelcho's famous rice experiment. This controversial experiment is said to measure the good and bad energies all around us. It is said that our words have power, and that the way we speak to each other has a direct effect on our own well-being. This experiment's been done with rice, plants, and even baseball players. So we decided we'd take a look for ourselves and find out if it's facts or trash. starting with three clean jars and cooked minute rice. We cooked it in 58 seconds. All these jars are clean and brand spanking new, so no variables. Most excellent, my rice friend. We'll be separating the rice. The first jar, we're only gonna say really nice things to. The second jar, we're gonna be really mean to. And the third jar, we're just gonna completely ignore. We're gonna record our results daily and see if our words or energies have any effect on the rice. Make sure to comment below what you think's gonna happen. Our friend Joel will be helping us with the science stuff. Are you guys gonna pay me this time? No! Let's, Let's get, get to, to the, the test. test. Dude, we're out of rice. I got it. As you can see, three identical jars of rice. Hey, good rice. So you're, you're really nice. You look great. I, I like the way you look. You're so fluffy and moist. You're just like a little biodome. Nothing's ever been inside you. I didn't want to do this. You're bad. No one likes you. You're bad rice. You suck. You have no flavor. You're the worst rice I've ever seen in my life. You're so bad. Things are really weird with good rice, don't you think? Yeah. Bad rice is dick. Yeah. I like this game. Yeah. You look perfectly cooked. Best race I've ever seen. You made me feel so happy inside. You're such a good race. You're like, really fun. Really good. You're a disgusting filth on this earth. I hate you. I hate you. I don't care for you at all. You're garbage. You make me want to retire. I wish I could take you out of that jar and whip you. Fuck. Looking good, Rice. You're pretty swell. You're doing so good! I think we are starting to really establish a friendship here. You're my best friend in the whole world! Oh my god, you smell so good. You smell really good. You smell really good. Like, how do you smell so good? Be careful. I think... I think Derek wants to... I think I wanna f*** you. 
really think about Gil. I want to light you on fire. You're filthy and disgusting. Why do you have to be my bad rice? I didn't ask for this! You couldn't sustain anything, not even a rodent, you worthless rice. When I look at you, I'm so filled with hatred. I want to throw up, and then I want to eat it just so I can throw up again. You're just going to die rotten in that little jar. You smell bad. How can you smell so bad? I wanna f you. I'm gonna f you. Hey. Hey. Did you have ignore rice in your room? Yeah, I was, I was ignoring him in there. Well, it's been 14 weeks. And as usual, we made sure everything went smooth and consistent, and no one had any sexual relations with the rice. Right. Anyways, here's Joe with the results. This was sick. This was disgusting. Mm -hmm. Guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, we found things in there that I don't even know how it exists. Mm -hmm. Dragon's milk? Mm -hmm. Where did you even get that? Hmm. You weren't supposed to touch the jars. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Nope. Nope. There was semen everywhere. Hmm. So you're saying there was semen in all of the jars? Like, I, I, we didn't even know how to measure it. It was literally just a mess. Well, those results sound inconclusive. No, I think what he's trying to say about Trash! It, no, he's saying- Trash! I don't think- TRASH! Make sure you come back next week to see how many peeps a homeless man can eat at gunpoint. I'm not gonna help you anymore. I'm not coming back. No, what are you- TRASH! Meow. Do you think Jesus did math on his fingers or his toes? So glad the experiment's finally over. We can finally be together for real. Don't have to hide anything. What's that? You want to spice things up a bit? I thought you'd never ask. Look who came to join the party.